just want to jump right in. Um, where we left things off, <laughs> Beth and Jamie kind of in the middle of a heated civil war coming. Uh, can you just talk a little bit about, like, if you feel that was always destiny for these characters or the, the building up to this and the, the seasons getting there and stuff like that? No, actually, no. We, uh, you know, from season one, we were always trying to figure out, you know, it's always been a surprise how their paths have gone. And yeah, we, Kelly and I would talk about like, are they going to resolve? Or maybe they'll team up at some point or maybe they both flip <laughs> against John. We were like all these scenarios except, oh no, they're going to fight to the death to the end. But, you know, so, but, you know, it's uh, in that way, it, it has been kind of surprising that it just continues to go further and further down the path of destruction. But um, but I guess I should have always seen it coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, yeah, I don't know if and it seems, sounds like you guys gamed it out many different ways, though. So that's kind of interesting on its own. Yeah. Um, can you uh, can you tell me a little bit about how it it felt coming back in and and dealing with this major plot line, but but just the whole experience with with John's absence from the story, you know, mm -hmm. now or going forward a little bit. You know, with TV, you're already kind of prepared for anything to happen. You know, we this and for big changes to happen. And, you know, it goes over seasons, over years. And the way TV's written, you could, you know, be a big character one day and then they kill you just to, to you know for effect the next. <laughs> so you're always ready for that big difference. And this just kind of, you know, this felt similar to that, you know, every season's kind of had some things we've had to adjust to. But um, like I said, that's the same with TV. And, and Kevin, you know, he's a huge part of this show. Um, uh, uh, and uh, it's been a real joy. And, and I feel very lucky to have gotten a chance to work with him. And, and he's a great guy. So, you know, um, I'm, I wish him luck in everything he's doing, too. Yeah, well, you have really run the gamut with this character. Like, you've been every side of humanity kind of and like i'm curious as an actor if you feel like exhausted stretched but also like in like in vigor like what, like talk a little bit about just like all the places you've been with him like emotionally but also like good bad whatever you know yeah you're really capturing it i mean it's seven years of a guy who every scene has something cathartic or major happen or some big reveal <laughs> you know it's it's been that's been thrilling but uh, um, and exciting, and, and I love the challenge of of scenes being so emotional and so the stakes being so high all the time. But yeah, it's exhausting, and you know I carried it into my regular life, even though I've never done that, and I've tried really hard not to do that. But you know, you may not want to be method, but method may <laughs> be coming for you if you work <laughs> on a character for enough years. So you know, I, I, my family have been real patient as well with that because you know it really did. I, there were things I'm. I have to disentangle, you know, about his behavior and my behavior. So it's, it is a way, but it's also like nothing to complain about and something that'll probably sure. go away like that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Speaking of which, I mean, I want to ask before we run out, like, you know, we're coming up on 25 years from American beauty. It's off topic, but, but it is one of the like landmark landmark events in cinema major mm -hmm. movie for you for everybody though yeah. um do you have reflection on it and like you know yeah. and like you're like yellowstone is massive in an, in an entirely new era different way but like mm -hmm. how do you look back on it how does it does it does it stay with you in some ways you know absolutely yeah american beauty was a an experience that you know it's like storybook in some ways because it just like it was that out of nowhere fame uh and people not just you know liking you for 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 superficial reasons but because they think you're good and you did a great job in a character that's really well written it was like you know it's more than you could ever even dream of as a young actor like it kicking off like that and then the the like you said the cultural impact in 1999 of that movie was huge it was in the music it was in the and you know it seeped its way into every fabric and that was weird you know and similar to yellowstone <laughs> sure. and and so, yeah, and, and, and down to even how I got Yellowstone and most jobs I get are from someone who was like, yeah, I remember American Beauty and, <laughs> and I liked you in that and I've always wanted to hire you. And I, then, you know, <laughs> here we are 25 years later and I'm on your show. So it's, uh, um, it, it, it's massive in my life. And, but it's one I'm, I'm really proud of. I think, it's a, I think it's a good film that holds up and, uh, you know, times are different now. And so it, it's even really interesting now to look back at where we were in 1999 in some ways. So. Um, yeah, well, yeah. I have to wrap up, but yeah, that's sorry. <laughs> a great answer. And, and yeah. you're back seeped into every part of the culture again. That's in right. Ways, so. 
Yeah. Congrats. Thanks, man. Thank Thanks you for, for the time. Thank you.